explain about this booking agent and a manager, like the a manager and a booking agent to you, because like in, in I mean, so, I, so 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 Scam is a booking agency. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be clear. So, management companies would probably partake in the process, in the development in the process. Development process right? They'll work with an artist, but it's also like. It's in a, it's a it's got to be worth the investment and the time that they put into it. So like, I, I think you know? depending on the manager, if you want a bigger manager, he's like a younger manager might have time. Right? right. So like so like, you know, as a manager, I might sit in the studio with you for three hours a day and try to help you with your music. Mm. As a manager, I might try to get you a feature. I might try to get you a, a this or that. Right. As an agent, I'm just trying to book you. Mm. That's it. So I'm just trying to get you club gigs. So, you know, I'm not trying. I'm a little, I think in my case, maybe a little, a little morphed. Like, I think because of just my relationships, I think I have the opportunity to help people when it makes sense in other areas. Yeah. But for the most part, my job is just to book you. That's mm-hmm. it. Right. So all the other part, it's, it's, it's your job to make yourself hot. It's your job to make yourself, you know, bookable. It's your job to make yourself marketable. It's your job to put the back. It's your job to put the podcast together, not yeah, mine. Yeah. 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 Is, that, it the, is that one of the biggest misconceptions when DJs come up to you uh, asking about scam artists? They really. I no, mean, I think I think the, couple, I think the right? bi- I think the biggest me- misconception is very similar to a record company that your life is going to change, and your life isn't really going to change, right? Like you know, the average artist signs to a record label and they think, ah, I, I made, made it. it. I made blow it. Up. Yeah. I made it. But let's be clear. 50 artists signed to a record label every year, 48 of them aren't coming back the next year, mm-hmm. right? Because the, the labels, they don't know which one's going to pop and which one's not going to mm-hmm. pop. And now, instead of making it, now you've put yourself on the clock. So now you've got to fight with, whereas before is you didn't have to, I always tell people that people were like, yo, what's going on with my record? And I'm like, is it as good as Jay-Z's? And they're like, oh, come on, that's Jay-Z. And I'm like, is it good as Beyonce's? And they're like, oh, that's Beyonce. I'm like, no, no, on a radio station, that's your competition. So mm-hmm. if you're not ready to fight with French Montana or Tiger or Lil Wayne or whoever, why are you coming to me? Because that's you're at that platform now, right? Like you have to be ready to fight with Kelly Clarkson. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's co- well, shit. Well, that's your competition. So if you come to Scam, Little John is your competition. You may not think so, but. As much as you're fighting him for the clubs, you're fighting him for my attention. Right. You're fighting him for everything. And if you're not ready, and the obligation isn't on me to do the heavy lifting, the obligation is on you to put yourself in a position that I want to do the heavy lifting for you. Right, right. I think that's one of the things, too, like a DJ will come up to me and come, probably come up to you guys and be like, yeah. how do I get on scam? <laughs> and I'm like, well, where are you from? I'm from, you know, Milwaukee. I'm like, are you popping in Milwaukee right now? You know, I'm bubbling, you know, like I'm trying to do this. I'm like... Suit so is not going to talk to you unless you, if you're not popping in your own city, if you haven't gotten to this, like, to this level yet, he can't do nothing for you because you, it's <coughs> not like you're going to sign on scam and then just get a bunch of gigs out of nowhere. Like, you you're still got to hustle your shit. A lot of DJs feel that way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, they well, feel no, like I, I, I also think that, I think, in, and this is going to sound like maybe the wrong attitude, but <laughs> you also have to understand it's a business. So 15% of nothing is nothing. Like, so if I'm not making money, I'm not waking up and I'm not motivated for that, right? So I have to, they ha- I have to have enough. You watch Shark Tank. They'll tell you, I have to have enough skin in the game. 5% is not enough. This deal is not good enough for me. If I don't have enough skin in the game, I'm not going to do it, right? So, you know, the guys from these second, third markets, the first question I'll ask them, say, how much are you making? They'll be, oh, $300 a night, $400 a night. So what's my best case scenario? I get you to $1,000 a night, and then now, and that's the best case scenario. Now I'm making 150 bucks a night for my company yeah maybe at the beginning of scam when i didn't have to pay taxes and health insurance and all this licenses and all these things that i have to deal with now as a bigger company unfortunately i and i probably had the time i probably could have invested in you if i believed mm-hmm. like let's be clear at the beginning vice and them were making 25 dollars a night but we were all there oh, to, yeah you got, we were all came there up together, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we were all there together so that wasn't like a sacrifice for me right I didn't have little John then or, you know, the Tiesto equivalent then or whatever it is. Like I, but now my time and my situations have changed. Yeah. 